Hi, welcome to Shine's Excel tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to make your own seating template for this college and school section. Come, let's get into the lesson. Open the Excel file. The first thing I'm going to do is prepare the home sheet. So I'm going to rename the sheet one to home. So now home page is ready. And a very important thing which we have to think about is first making the hall design and and taking how many departments so let's go to that so it is ready now and I'm going to rename the sheet to has hall design HD and now I'm going to give the hyperlink this particular box place in this document and select to which one I need to hyperlink is HD so click OK so now this particular one has been hyperlinked to HD page so I have created a separate page page for whole design and to enter your departments so let's customize that box make it bright Now click that and now we are in the hall design page so let's give the outline to that page I'm going to enter seal number hall name sorry hall number and the number of columns and number of rows so it is very important to enter the dimension of hall so you must give it at the very earlier how number of columns and number of rows you are going to unlock it in your hall so I'm considering there were 13 halls so serial number 1 and I'm writing hall number as h1 h2 h3 and till h13 so now it's the time to enter the columns and the rows so here I'm defining there were six columns and four rows in the hall 1 to hall 12 I can just drag it till hall 12 and hall 13 I am giving it as a special one and it has more number of columns and more number of rows now it's the time to enter the department details so serial number and name of the department and it is very important so in many places we cannot enter the whole name so it is very important if you it will be good if you add the short form for the department for example if it is computer science and engineering it can be CSE if it is mechanical engineering it can be ME so it will be very easy to define it the short form of the each department so here I am going to define seven departments and here it is Also, don't forget to save the Excel template. When the pages go more and more, it is very hard to track the pages. So I'm giving the link in this page to your home page. So click clip art and there you have home clips. And I just want to keep it there and I want to give the hyperlink. I like to hyperlink that particular clip art to the home page. And now the whole design and the department page is ready and next go to the next part. On the next page is the detail entry page and here you need to enter the name of the college, your exam details, the semester exams, which semester and the date and the subject name, subject code. So all this comes in this page. Once again, I am going to create the hyperlink in the home page to the detail page and here it is. The 
and base is the detail page and let's see what I'm going to enter here I'm going to enter as I told you earlier so for the date it can be 1 to 31 so month 1 to 12 and year it can be 2020 2021 so it I need it to be a drop-down list so go to data and data validation and here select instead of any value you need to select a list and you can here in the source you can enter it or you can give reference to any other cell now I'm going to enter all the numbers from 1 to 31 here look now it appears as the drop down list from numbers 1 to 31 follow the same for month you can enter numbers from 1 to 12 select list and source from 1 to 12 So now it's the time to enter the department and the subject and the subject goes. So let's see how it goes. So here when it comes to enter the department, you need, need not to write or enter name of the department. Just give the link just get the reference from the whole design so in the whole design already you have the name of the department of all the seven departments and its short form so now see how i am going to give it as a reference everybody knows the excel is full of formulas so begin with the formula equal to and from where i need to take it equal to heights two. so when i enter equal to and give reference heights to the CAC the same thing which is there in the heights T it comes here so just drag down and all those things uh, all those departments short forms appears in this page so here enter the subject name and the subject code and everything is done so let's let's customize this page by giving the colors and easy to identify to make it attractive so you can do as you like also enter the section whether it is forenoon or afternoon so I'm entering the section and again the same thing data to be the drop-down list so data validation and list and enter FN and AM And so the detail page is ready now we are on the home page let's go to the next one that is very important that is the name list so the students name those are going to write the exam so we are going to do that let's get me As we are done in the whole design page we have totally seven departments so if all the seven departments have exam in a single day so I need all the seven departments in this page so for each department I am creating three columns serial number name and hall ticket number or it can be register number 
So for department 1, I am creating the serial number, name and the hall ticket number. So just create for one and then we can just copy it for the other departments. So this is a department 2 and I am copying it for the department 3. So let's do it for all the 7 departments. So I am going to change the department, department 2 and as for the department 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So here is the very important part that we need to define all the each department into a table. So, so, so. And you need you need to give the name to the table. Go to formulas, name manager, and there it is already default. It is named as table four. Double click it and it rename as table D one. That is department one. So okay. So next, select the second department. Select from serial number, name, and hall ticket number. Go to insert and table and my table as headers and click ok so now your table is done so change the name of the table name manager and your table default name is table 5 and i'm going to change this to table d2 so do this same thing for all other departments Let's keep that your department has 50 students so I need to drag that table to the maximum students we have so you can drag it to 100 you can drag it to 200 so you can drag it based on the number of students you have for your departments so do it the same thing for all other things so now now see for department 1 the range is from A3 to C51 So let's do it for all other departments, drag it to maximum students you have for that particular department. So now it's over for all the 7 departments. As usual let's create the link to the home page in this page also. So let's see how we can hyperlink your text. Go to hyperlink and give the cell reference to home and ok. So when you click on it. This will land you directly into the home page. So that's the end of section 1 and let's see in the part 2.